Plastic covered bikes, they're covering up something. Naked bikes, they're not. And what is that thing? It's the engine, of course. And in those engines, we've got single overhead cam, four cylinders, double overhead cam, all sorts of configurations. But what does that all mean? Come with me in this week's Tech Talk and I'll tell you all about it. Okay, well, I'm gonna demonstrate it on this old CB754 engine down here, going back a few years now, but it does to serve its purpose. Now, I'll take this rocker cover off, previously loosened, and under there, amongst all this oil, just look at these hands, there's a camshaft running down the middle. So this one is a single overhead camshaft. If it was double overhead camshaft, you get another one. This is a camshaft. In fact, this is exactly the same as that center one, but you get one here and one there operating direct on the valves. But first, back to this one. So you've got a camshaft running down the middle, and here's the cams themselves. It is a little bit rusty because it's been in store but they operate on the heels of these things which are called rockers. See them here? And as you move them, you hear them tapping. So guess what they're called? Tappets. So if someone says your tappets are rattling, that's what it is, they need adjusting. I've got a rocker assembly here, because these just bolt onto the head, and you can see the rockers themselves, and you can see why they're called rockers. Cam lifts that bit, presses down that bit, opens the valves, but we'll come to valves in a while. While we're on the camshaft, Driving the camshaft is the timing chain that runs around there, down into the bowels of the engine onto the crankshaft. Because the camshaft has got to open the valves at the right time for when the pistons come up. And if you get those out of sync, you're in real serious trouble. So if something else you'll hear people say, that sounds like timing chain rattle to me, that means that that timing chain is a bit loose or a bit worn or the cam, cam chain tensioner is faulty and so it's slapping that bias a bit. That can be a very expensive job because, as you can see, it's buried inside the engine. So, valves, we said. What have we got? Well, I've got a nice little range for you here. First off, we'll start off this one. This is a two-valve head. And as you can see, there's actually eight in there, but by two-valve heads, we mean two valves per cylinder. So there they are, stuck in the cylinder head. If we turn this one over, we can actually see it's got its two camshafts still in. So this is that double overhead camshaft I spoke about. Remember, there was the old single one. This is two. They're operating directly on the valves. And see what they save? They save having this rocker assembly. So they lose a lot of the reciprocating weight, as it's called, and speed up the whole valve train, and you actually lose a lot of that mass flying around. So let's just turn that one over. The hose clip drops off. Here we come to a four valve head. You'll hear this term a lot because on the, if sports bikes are worth calling a sports bike, they're gonna have four valve heads, like cars have these days. Sometimes you hear them 16 valves, because there we have four, 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 16. Turn this one over, but before I do, what I should have said on that one, you always find that the inlet valves are bigger than the exhaust valves. That's because it's more important to actually, when you're actually sucking something in, like the petrol air mixture, than actually pushing it out with the piston. So the inlet valves are always bigger than the exhaust valves. Turn that over. On this one, this hasn't got the camshafts in. It would have been a double overhead camshaft, or rather it is. If we put a camshaft in here, running in those bearings, see where it's positioned there? It'd operate down on these bucket tappets, as they're called there. They're just like mini pistons that operate direct on the valves. So again, you've saved all that reciprocating mass. Turn that one over. And finally, coming to this one. This is a Yamaha head. And in fact, this is a five valve job. See here, the inlet valves aren't actually bigger, but there's more of them. There's three inlet valves and two exhaust valves, but the same reason, you want to get the maximum mixture in. So if you can see that, you're not gonna get any more valves in that area. Not much point turning this over because the cams are in, double overhead cams there, but they're operating those through buckets, um, tappets again. But what you're gonna get there is maximum efficiency, maximum gas, um, into the cylinders and maximum evacuation. So this is it. For ultimate efficiency, the more valves, the better.